There was a woman who went to see a psychiatrist and through going many, many sessions, they eventually, in the conversation and the sessions, arrived at, at a place where this woman, as a young girl, was in a classroom at school. For some unknown reason, the teacher took a great dislike to her. And she got the girl out to the front, she gave her a piece of chalk, and she told the girl to write on the blackboard, I am a failure. And then the teacher asked everybody else in the class to come up and write on the blackboard what they thought of the girl. So the woman's explaining this experience that she's had at school. And the psychiatrist says to her, well, how did you respond? How did you feel? And she says, I, I was crying. I couldn't look at, at anybody. And all I wanted to do was to die. Now, the psychiatrist was a Christian. And so in his counseling, there was a, a Christian perspective to it. And he said to her, as a Christian psychiatrist, I know that something else happened that day, but you were not aware of it. But when everybody had written on that blackboard, there was someone else in that classroom his name was Jesus. And he got up from his desk and he walked to the front. But he didn't pick up a piece of chalk. He picked up the eraser. And he erased everything that was written on that board. Then he picked up the piece of chalk and he wrote on that blackboard, I love you. Jesus didn't come into this world to rub it in. Jesus came into this world to rub it out. And whether the stuff on that board is true or not true or half truth, Jesus wants to wipe it clean. That is why Christianity is such good news.